subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Uh, my concluding questions. One, after this New York survey, do we now accept the ine inevitability that ultimately all of us will get it at some point enough of us will get it so we will have herd immunity. So the only vaccination now is herd immunity so protect the really vulnerable and old and let the young come, come to work and get vaccinated. So the word herd immunity is normally associated with vaccination programs. We talk about herd immunity for measles and polio and so on. Getting herd immunity through natural infection, of course, it is possible and some countries toyed with that idea. Britain and then, did. Yes, and they quickly realized that they would pay quite a heavy price in terms of or the death rates and therefore then they put in place the physical distancing measures that managed to slow it down. From what we've seen of the number of people in the population who are now having antibodies, and we don't know if these are protective antibodies or not, by the way, that's a different question, is 5 to 10 percent maybe, far away from herd immunity. We think 80 percent of the population needs antibodies, protective antibodies, to have any kind of herd immunity for this virus. And probably the only way of achieving that safely is through a vaccine. So I think till we have a vaccine or we have a very effective drug, we have to continue the public health measures, not of course extreme lockdowns going on forever, but a sensible and balanced approach driven by data and agile and adaptable to be able to manage this infection while going about our lives and livelihoods.